really fast about Boosie is like, at this point, Boosie, is there something you want to tell us? You sitting up here thinking about Lil Nas giving people head and things. And we know you was in prison. And we know that prison can be like a sor sorority, you know. It can be like a old fraternity, you know, old frat party. So, you know, in some cases. So what was it really giving that's got you just so enamored with, you know, what Lil Nas is doing sexually? Is there something you want to tell us? There's so much going on, you know, in the industry with this, um, you know, with Brother Polite and all of these leaders. It just makes me just take a look at black consciousness and, you know, this, it's just a hustle right now. You know, consciousness is becoming a hustle. People are hustling, you know, other people. And I mean, I can't blame them, child. We send out here to have experiences. If, you know, there's people going to be ducks and people going to be sheep and people going to be wolves and... Some people going to be a mixture of the two. You know what I'm saying? Lay limb, lay lure on that ass, you know? So, you know, it is what it is. I just honestly, it's just, I don't have the capacity at this point in time. I'm just trying to, you know, um, do the things that please me and, you know, give me joy, you know, because I spend so much of my life carrying the world on my shoulders thinking that I could save somebody. When the truth is, honey, the only person you could save is yourself and you let saving yourself be an example for somebody else. I am happy for Lil Nas. I'm happy to see Lil Nas accomplishing the things that he's accomplishing and doing the things that he's doing because he's chocolate with a big nose and thick lips and some C4 hair. And, you know, he's just a beautiful um, human being. But um, I am concerned about him being puppeteered um, I am concerned about um, some of the goals and the motives with how he's being branded, and um, and I just I, I see I see some things in his future that I don't want to see. You know, um, I see the light skinned replacement who's going to be more androgynous than him. You know, I see um, them working out the kinks because he is the most um, famous, openly gay artist that we've ever seen um, during this season of heightened awareness. Cause I'm sure that we've had other talented um, queer artists throughout time and space. Like I'm sure that this is not the first time that a queer artist has ever been lifted or exalted you know to such heights with with the things that he's doing the trolling and you know and just um the attention seeking and just you know um and and so many people are supporting it because we want to see um for a change the dark skin you know big lip kinky head you know queer person you know i'm not i, I want to use the word gay because for me gay specifically um implies that this is just about a, 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 a man, you know, who likes men. And, you know, the, uh, the origin of the word gay was more about um, pointing out males who resonated um, closely with their feminine side and their foremothers and they weren't able to hide it. So, you know, it has changed over time because gay men didn't want that stigma, but um, queer really envelops um, for me, all types of conversations. Like it opens the door to not necessarily being um, at one end of the spectrum, only wanting to be with the same sex or only wanting to be with the opposite sex. But, you know, liking different degrees of both sexes, you know, so queer just, you know, there's just more space in queer. I don't like the, 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 the is or are, the is and ain't, you know, um, the, the left or right, I don't, I don't like that. I like, you know, the middle ground because it's a lot of us who are in the middle ground that get erased, you know. But the industry um, makes its money off of extremes and off of promoting the binary because the binary promotes different. It promotes um, segregation. It, 
it promotes that. But when we start realizing that, hey, I came from my mother and my father and I'm a little bit of both of them. And it's natural for me to, you know, embody seed and egg, you know, womb and seed. It's a, That's a natural thing. Like when we start to develop those conversations and start to have them more deeply and more profoundly, then we realize that we're not so separated at all. And then the herd can come together, which is the people can come together and they can trample um these predators that that don't want to and don't want to take that season to be prey they just want to continuously be predator they don't want to they don't want to live in balance they just want to be a predator their entire existence they just want to feast on the weak feast on the ones that they could manipulate feast on the sheep they just want to be big old fat greedy wolves they hold life they don't want any balance. They want the sun to shine on them for 24 hours a day while the rest of us live in darkness. And that's just not the tea. I'm thankful for Lil Nas's example, but I, I can already see where this is going. I definitely think that um, Lil Nas is preparing the way for his replacement. Oh. I want to see how long he's going to stay at the top, but, you know, the more people give him life, the more, you know, people talk about him, the more numbers he does, it won't be long before the machine say, hey, you know, let's do, let's, let's do what we did to Little Kim with Nicki Minaj, and then what we did with Nicki Minaj with Cardi B. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's do what we did with Tupac with Jay-Z. <laughs> you know let's 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 bring in the replacement you know and so uh Lil Nas my prayer for you is that you continue to take care of yourself inwardly so that you will be able to handle um when you are not being worshipped and exalted and you know um keep your sanity and keep your peace and 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 know that you know um your gifts come your 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 true gifts come from within and no one can ever take that from you don't be afraid to walk away if you ever need to no matter what no one else thinks what nobody else says. Um, if you gotta choose between you and 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 giving people an illusion of you, I always go with you. Because the art you can always create. Because you've already accomplished things that have yet to be accomplished in this phase of awareness and that's a beautiful thing and no one stays on top forever who even wants to live in a world like that where, where one person gets to sit at the top of the heap forever so you know when that door opens and your replacement comes through don't be bitter don't be jaded don't you know don't be don't need homage you know don't need um you know and i say this you know because that that's that was my struggle you know i wanted homage i wanted to be honored i wanted to be acknowledged and we find out that the world don't do that that's just not how it is so um learn from the mistakes of those who've come before you and just do it because it's in you to do it don't do anything that it's not really in you to do because i'm telling you when your replacements show up you will be bitter <laughs> You will be resent filled and you will be jaded. <laughs> Don't let the industry make you that one. Because there's so many examples of bitter, dark skinned people. So many examples of bitter melanin. I myself, you know, I'm I'm the lemon and the honey, you know. Sometimes I could be a little bit more lemon than honey. So um I don't want that for you. Um and that's all. So um, that's everything that I wanted to say in this video. Um, sending well wishes to um, all of the people who were affected by the Hurricane Ida, both in um, 
New York and Queens and New Jersey and in New Orleans, all of the news um, everywhere in the Gulf. I love you all. Be well. Um, down but down that I say cool. It keeps spinning and turning. And Ghani, Yanko Kalupalo, which means I'm a child of God, goddess. And if I am, you know you are. Have a blessed day. Past, present, and future. Mm -hmm.